but the question is, is how he votes on the impeachment, the, I'm sorry, the, the actual removal from office because the president's already been impeached, is that going to be at all affected uh, is that at all going to affect his chances of re-election? Well, a new WPA intelligence poll of about 500 likely Alabama voters says that that is indeed the case. So I'll go ahead and bring up this graphic. There is absolutely no question that if the Senate, and, and specifically Doug Jones, votes to remove Trump, that is going to severely hamper him when it comes to his view in the eyes of Alabama voters. But um, this is just overall. In other words, this is just what Alabama voters would hope that the Senate would vote for. This is how it, vo how it relates to Doug Jones specifically. So if Jones votes to remove, they are 14% more likely to reelect him. So 14% of people are going to be happy about that. 37% are going to be less likely to re-elect him. 45% say there is no difference. 4% say they aren't sure yet. So you might be tempted because of this, and I understand why. You might be tempted because of this to focus on the less likely to re-elect. So there's 37% of Alabamians that say, yeah, uh, if Doug Jones does vote to remove the president, we're going to be less likely to vote for him. I think that number is largely immaterial because I don't think that it's completely honest. I could be wrong, but this is just me going with, with my political prognostication. I think the most important part of that is that there is going to be no difference. And remember that that was the one that got the vast majority. 45% of Alabamians said, yep, whether he votes for Trump or against Trump, it's not going to change my vote for him. In other words at least 45% of Alabamians already have their mind made up when it comes to Senator Jones. And I would fall into that category. It wouldn't matter if uh, Senator Jones voted uh, from here on like a conservative. Now, that's not going to happen. It wouldn't matter if from here on out Doug Jones voted to uh, acquit the president. Wouldn't matter I, like many Alabamians, already have my mind made up on Doug Jones because I've seen how he has functioned in office, and so there's no chance that I'm going to vote for him. And see, that to me is the most interesting part of this poll and the one that is most likely to show what Doug Jones is going to do on this. I do not believe this is going to affect his vote at all. The fact that Alabamians are going to change their vote and be more likely to vote for him, more likely to, to vote for somebody else in this next election, I think he's going to see that 45% mark and say, ah, it doesn't matter what I do. It really doesn't. Whether I vote in favor of acquitting the president or not, doesn't matter. Because my chances of getting reelected are, are pretty much nothing right now. I mean, honestly, if I'm Doug Jones's political advisor and I'm looking at this poll and I'm also looking at Jones's approval ratings and looking at who is going to be he's who he's going to be running against for the Senate, I mean, unless it's Roy Moore, and that would be the only monkey wrench in this whole thing, is if he has a repeat against uh, Judge Moore, which I frankly just do not see happening. If I'm his political advisor, I'm going to say, Senator Jones, vote how you want to because it really isn't going to make a difference. This is the difference in losing the election by 10% and losing the election by 30%. So what? You might as well vote the way you want to while you're here. I mean, I know that that may not sound something that is all that idealistic, because of course it's not, but the senators aren't listening largely to what their constituents want unless they believe it is going to affect their re-election. And in Doug Jones' case... I believe based on the way he's voted, he's already pretty much decided, and I think rightfully so, that nothing he can do can change the outcome of that election, so he might as well vote the way that he wants to while he's there. He's basically operating as though he is a lame duck senator. And if I were in Jones' position, frankly, I'd do exactly the same thing. If I were in Jones' position, let's say that I were, uh, it was the reverse, and I was the conservative that I am, and I'm in, I don't know, uh, Maxine Waters or Alexandria Ocasio Cortez's district or jurisdiction. I know that they're you know members of the House instead of the Senate, but you know go with me on this. 
I'm about a thousand percent sure that I can't win that seat again. And frankly, like Jones, I think I'm just sitting around there trying to figure out how the heck I got into this position. But if I'm there, I'm voting the way I want to while I'm there because there's no chance I'm going to get reelected anyway. So I think that's what's actually going to happen with Senator Doug Jones. I think he's already made that calculation. He already understands, look, this is a one-off. I might as well be able to do what I want and get my agenda through, which is a radical left agenda for Doug Jones while I'm here. Now, I know you're here because you're interested in information on what's going on in the state of Alabama and around the world, and you've come to the right place for that. But it's YouTube, so you could also just be here because you're bored. If you want me to keep making videos to keep you occupied, you need to go ahead and like and subscribe. Otherwise, you're going to have to go back to playing Minesweeper.